It's like the moon landed in my hand. I would say it's Mars. Look at that. Maybe it's something from uh, SpaceX. Yeah. It could be something from SpaceX. The heck is this? Wow. The producer, welcome to Funhouse TV, and today we are on adventure, and we're going to be heading upstream. But I actually have a special person with me, and he's a dinosaur expert. And according to legend, or according to him, um, there is supposed to be uh, a lot of dinosaurs have roamed in this area many, many millions of years ago, and he knows all about it. So. Uh, where do you think we should go? Tell us, tell, tell me some stuff. We'll go let's, up that way? Let's go upstream because we've had a lot of rain, over six inches, and the streams are running very strong and er eroding soil, exposing fossils and old rocks from millions of years ago. And I know we're going to find something. I'm very excited about this. We've been this. hiking up the stream. from. We came from this way and we're going up this way. And you never know what you might find. Now that all the, the everything starts to melt and the snow and everything, what do you think we might find? Well, I think we're going to find, I think we're going to really find something special today because I haven't been up this way in a long time, a number of years. No one's been up here and I can see everything's been washed out by all the flooding. What do you know about dinosaurs? Well, millions of years ago, they roamed the earth, especially in this area where we are today. And fossils have been found, footprints have been found in rocks and taken to museums. So that's what makes this place so special. And I'm happy we're here today to find something special. Uh huh. I know we will. Do you think an animal lives down there? Take our time. We'll find. Ugh. Something. Yeah. Look at these big logs. The way they piled up during the flooding. Yeah. The water raised, came up, and washed these trees up against here. Yeah, that's crazy. Pretty view looking out there, though. Very nice. Yeah, it's real. I've here. I've never been up this way before, but this is really cool. No I, one comes over here. I think we should cross over, possibly, if we can, mm. and then go over that way. That's a good idea. All right, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to cross over here, you guys, and see. I don't want to get wet because it is kind of cold, but we're going to cross here, and then we're going to head up this way. All right. I'm going to head up that Look way. Look at this amazing tree that fell, you guys. Isn't that wild? It like just, it just fell, but it's it's so cool. So we're gonna hike up this way and see if we find anything, all right? Hold on. I gotta, second, I got, we gotta I stop gotta, walking because I got animals straight ahead. You guys can't see them, but I just saw them move. So I'm just gonna, we're, me and the dinosaur expert are just gonna stand for a minute and make sure that it's nothing like a bear or anything like that. All right. All right, all right. I think we can continue. But I saw the movement up that way. Do you guys see it? I saw it. Okay, so tell us about this rock bed we've just come across. Well, what happened here is during the floods, yeah. some of the river washed over this way and came over here. You can see the rocks are still wet. There's still moisture in between them. And this has been going on for millions of years. And the rocks tumble over and over and get rounded and rounded more. And as you see them, the, even this big one here has all got nice round edges, nothing sharp. Yeah. This is caused by nature and the erosion of the soil and the constant rainfall. It's just great to watch and look at, but you never know what you're going to find among these rocks. Have you ever found something really cool in the rocks? Yes. I yourself? Have. I like have. different fossils and everything? Oh, definitely. You can see the remains of uh, the impressions of, uh, of uh, life that lived a million years ago in this area. Uh -huh. Different shapes, volcanic uh, gas marks in these stones like here. Yeah. See all these bumps? Yeah. That's from a volcano a million years ago. Wow. Versus this stone's completely different, but it has different colors throughout it. But look how round it is from all the water that ran over it. Okay. It's just the rocks tell the story. Rocks tell the story, everybody. Just like Funhouse TV always tells the story. And you never know what we're going to find. And I think we should go over this way. Let's go up by this, this tree here. Hold on. strange rock here. It's got a, a blue tint to it right here, running through it. God knows what that's about. 
And then it's got all the green business, which could be like a moss, which it is a moss. Oh, yeah? But this rock is very round. This is millions of years old. Millions Why does moss grow on rocks? Because uh, it's caused by dampness and uh, shade. When the sun doesn't shine, moisture, uh, moisture accumulates and it turns green and shows you that this is an area of very cool weather, damp weather. Oh, yeah? And it thrives in here. That's cool. This is really nice. What about this one right here? That one, it's another one very similar to this big guy here. Mm -hmm. Notice how rounded they are? Yes. Nothing sharp. Not, not a single stone is sharp. It's been here for millions of years. Water running through this. Wow. Beautiful. They're all rounded off. I gotta just look at this, but why would there be like a big now look at this white one. What is that from? That's totally different than everything around it. Look mm -hmm. at the others and the colors. And all of a sudden this one's sitting all by itself. It's like a white Easter egg. Yeah. Do you think it's a dinosaur egg? Uh, it, well, we're excited about finding something different. This mm -hmm. is certainly the remains of something that happened a long time ago. The white egg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you think we should keep it? Yes, I think we should All keep right. it. All right, let's keep that one. Let's keep this one. All right. So we come across this giant tree limb that goes out, and it's a it's all moss. Why do trees grow moss? Because, first of all, it, it fell down a long time ago and it's decaying. And it lays here in the sun and the weather hits it and different things grow on it. Especially the moss, the nice green moss, which is nature's way of decaying the tree. It's slowly going to return to the earth. Mm -hmm. See, it's trapped up against the other tree. I see, yeah. It's not at the base, so uh -huh. it's gone. It won't do it anymore. That tree looks like it got hit by lightning up there. See it, the bark peeled right there? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Which got to see it's dying off. A lot of... Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's see this. Nature put them there. Let's go underneath here. Okay, everybody. So we've been out all day looking for dinosaur stuff and looking for fossils, and I'm coming up this hill and I think I see something up there. Wait. What? Look, it's that, down there. Where? Right there. Over there? In the water. Over here? Yes. Wait, let me see. Okay, hold, hold on, hold up. Let me come back down, let me come back down the hill. Hold on. Careful. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Under here. Right what is here. this? This? That. No, Not this. No. Go for it, go in the water. Go in the water? It's underwater. Wait, let me get my let me see if my camera can see what it is. Hold on. Let me see this. Dad? Dad. What the heck is that? What the heck is this? Can we take it out? Yeah. You think so? Yes. Have you ever seen anything like no, this never. dinosaur guy? Never seen. Look at that. Wow. Hold on, everybody. Let's see how we get it. It's so cold. Let me move this one. Oh, the water's freezing. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so cold. But look at that. Wow. Look at this, you guys. It's like a... It's like prehistoric or something, right? You got it. It is. How can you... Let me take it. Let me see if I can take it out. Is it heavy? Oh, it's so cold. My fingers are freezing. It's very heavy. Isn't oh. It? Oh, my God. Oh, it's beautiful. Whoa! The heck is this? It's like the moon landed in my hand. I would say it's Mars. Look at that. Maybe it's something from uh, SpaceX. Space. Got it. it's it's could be something from SpaceX. Beautiful. The heck is this? So wow. What do you think this is, dinosaur guy? I think it's a dinosaur egg. You think it's a dinosaur? It's not a dinosaur, it's a rock. Well, I know, but it looks like the shape of an egg. It looks like the shape of an a egg. A million years ago. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Hold on, let me put, it's really heavy. Let's put it down and we'll take a closer look. All right, hold on. What do you think, a dinosaur's in here? What? No, maybe a million years ago when it was <laughs> hatched by the mother and left in the <laughs> ground. Yeah, but it's like, it but... It never hatched, and then the earth, we, it's uncovered a million years later by the rains and the water. That's crazy. Wait, let me just, let me just put this down. Hold on a second. Okay, so you guys, I took, and I got the, I got the egg, the rock. Dinosaur guy thinks it's a, a dinosaur egg. 
I think it's something from SpaceX, but tell me why you think it's something from a dinosaur. Because of where we are. Yeah. It's a very historic area where dinosaurs <clears throat> once walked the earth. Yeah. Now it's on, on it's been uncovered by all the wind and rain and the floods. So yeah. why would I think it's from space? To me it's from the it's from the earth, from dinosaurs a million years ago. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like this. No. It's absolutely amazing. So do you think we should keep this? Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. I think Please. it's so cool. It's gotta be kept. It's gotta be kept. Well, it's like this, it's so, it's, it's like the, to me it's like Mars, but to the dinosaur guy it's a dinosaur egg and mm -hmm. he's probably right. Yes. I so, because of where we are. Yeah. So, you're watching Funhouse TV and uh, I'm Steph the producer with the dinosaur guy. Hey, there you go, everybody. This is it. We discovered it today. Okay. And uh, remember to subscribe and be super cool and go out on an adventure and uh, have an awesome day. I think we're going to keep this. I'm going to give it to the dinosaur guy and uh, since he found it. Thank you. And then uh, he could do the research on it and see what it is. I'm going to do that. All right. So we'll be back with more episodes of Funhouse TV. Later.